What's up with it, world? We got another episode of Grilling and Chilling. I am your co-host with the most busy Mac and the handicap assassin. And y'all know my other brother. Man, this is Gotti Roll, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Grilling and Chilling. Now, as y'all can see, we got a little meat on the grill. We got it going already. You feel me? We're going to make a little classic CBD spread. You yeah. feel me? Uh, so y'all just stay tuned, man. It's going to be bars, man. Let's get it, man. So, man, when the first time you had a spread, man? My first spread. I've been having a lot of spreads in my days, but... Yeah. My first real spread was when I was about maybe 13. My uncle just came home from prison and shit. I was chilling with uh, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna make you something good for uh, lunch. And he said, I'm gonna make you a spread. And I heard spread, a lot of people been saying spread for the longest time growing up, but I never had it. So he whipped it up and he's like, oh, I'm gonna have some mayonnaise, some chili, and all type of shit. I was like, mayonnaise? I was like, that sounds hella nasty. And he's like, trust me, huh? I mean, trust me, man. If you all don't mislead you and shit. And I was like, all right. So I tried that shit, and I've been a fan of spreads ever since. Man, you couldn't even taste the mayonnaise, and I don't really fuck with mayonnaise like that, but he did that right, man. And I know you make a mean ass spread too, man, so. Yeah, you know, the first time I ever made a spread, I was, uh, you know, unfortunately, I was incarcerated. Yeah, that's where it comes from, man. You know what I mean? But, uh,. You know, we got that meat grilled up. But you know, I learned how to do this shit, uh, you know, the, 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 the old fashioned way, you know? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? In there, you get your, you get your, your ramen, you know what I'm saying? You crush your ramen. Take your aggression out on them ramen, you feel me? That's all you gotta do, man. Take your aggression out on these ramen. You might hit them, some people might hit them on the floor. I'm gonna take my aggression out on these chips. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and get all that smashed up. Yeah, hey, so what you think about that PMB Rock situation, man? That's another unfortunate situation, man, that keeps happening. Yeah, that shit crazy, man. And you just never know who, what, uh, what rapper or what actor is gonna be, man. It's like, it's getting, like, people think they don't need security, you know what I mean? When they're that, uh, famous and making that much money and got all these chains on them. Yeah. And they just think they can go to the same old places they used to. Some people can, you know what I mean? But they got protection and shit, but. Yeah, like you shit. think to your dog and do the shit he used to do, man. Shit, the, the, the security is only $75 an hour. So my thoughts was, like, why ain't he buying no security, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro, you out there with all that chain. And then, and then you know, the crazy part is, when I watch the shit, right? Yeah. Matter, matter of fact, you know, we, we taking it back old school, man. We the put it in the bag. Way, man. We make sure you double up the bags, man. No leakage. No leakage, Keep man. that flavor, man. You know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, man. If you want to you start cases and shit, you man. You want to start dumping these chips in there. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out the way for y'all. Yeah, let me make sure I get this out the way for y'all one second. Yeah, so, uh, that shit, that shit. Like I said, man, I, I'd have been the first motherfucker to buy uh, security, man. You know what I'm saying? Ass bad. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Cause there ain't no, ain't no way I'm gonna be in the streets and you know what I'm saying? Let shit like that happen to me. At all. That shit's sad. Plus, I got all that money, I'm for sure investing some damn security. Up top, so first. Or at least my female gonna have a runner or something, man. Yeah, so first we, we ran these, uh, the cheese case, all the ruff, the ruffles. Yeah, you second, I'm gonna beat these, uh, which way the hot Cheetos up next. Yeah, you got, the, you got these hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos in the let's, mix. let's get these out of the way for the people. You feel me? Let's get this down a little bit. I'm gonna get some hot Cheetos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to emptying these, uh, these ramen's in here, matter of fact. Oh, so we're yeah. gonna go, we're gonna go ramen. We got that water over there, man. We got the water, we got the water boiling, ready to go, you see? And it's just like, who, who almost got robbed the other day? Sauce walking, we talked about the shit on the show. That's what I'm saying, it happened way too frequently. And like yeah. I said, out here in the West Coast. But turns out that that might have been a fake story. Turns out Sauce Walker might have yeah, made that one up. As the days go on, man, more likely you come out of the story, man. I know it's this and that, man. Yeah. I'm just glad he's okay, but man, tell the truth, man. What tell the truth. truth. Stop trying to get attention. Get clout. Get, get that little house. Get your fame and followers up. Yeah, for real talk. you something that you're not. Real talk. So right now he adding them hot chills. You know you need that little spice. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna kick these little Sauces in there right now. Yeah. Put oil, everything in there. Come on, marinate with each other. You want me to throw them Cheetos in there too? Put some cheese up in that bitch. Yeah, throw, throw another one of these in there. Matter of fact, throw both of these. Oh yeah, these are flaming. 
Yeah, because you know these Fritos, you need the Fritos for the texture. You know what I'm saying? I always say that. A lot of people don't know about that. Nah, I love the Frito ones. Yeah, the chili like, cheese Frito. The chili cheese Frito. I couldn't find the chili cheese. I had to go to the original. Nah, I got a whole box in there. Damn. Yeah, matter of fact, let's let's go with the chili cheese, matter of fact. Shout out the chili cheese. Shout out to chili cheese Frito. They're the best chips I had, man, since I was little, man. Oh, I got some feet. See? Yeah, they ain't coming to chili cheese. I stay with it. Stay with that phone, Dad. Yeah, man. Because they just over here lying. Don't be posting your location, trying to be cool. Like, hey, look where I'm at. Man, you just a sitting duck when you do shit like that, man. That's a fact, man. They be looking like only the real niggas know. Don't ever post your shit. You know, damn well we didn't post this shit, it was the girl that posted this shit, so. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, and that's just even worse, man. Right? They said the girl posted the, the location when they were sitting out there eating. I mean, sitting up in there eating, and it's like, come on, man. Now I'm sitting here bleeding because you want to take a picture? Facts, now you're sitting here leaving Earth because you want to post your damn, I'm at the Waffle House, look at me, like, come on. That man. shit crazy, bro. That shit is not cool. You niggas need to grow up, man, wake up. Real though. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, bean, you know. The refry. Yeah, the bean, you know, you get the dry ones. So you have to go with the refry this time, but you know. If you can find the dry ones, I suggest you get the dry ones. I just like the flavor of them a little bit better. If y'all ever been to Taco Bell and shit like that, y'all y'all probably familiar with the dry ones, you feel me? So I'm chopping the shit out of these hard ass shoes. Gotta chop them up, man. You gotta get like them. Like you going. said, we used to be throwing them on the floor, man. Take care of that real quick. Yeah, we used to throw them up on the floor. Like, bing, you feel me? Get that shit going. Stomp them on the floor. <laughs> but anyway, so what you been up to, man? Just trying to. Are you man? Just trying to you live, know, man. Trying to juggle all this shit that we doing. Add a little bit of that. Stay elevated, man. Now you know for the big part of the show, you know that's what we do. You know that CBD oil. The cherry on top. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and add this that. This gonna be getting right. Uh huh. Go ahead and just you know add a dose in there. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of dose in there. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid. Don't yeah. be afraid to add that CBD in there. We always say that. It just enhances it. It don't. All it do. You know what I'm saying? So all it do is just enhance it. You feel me? So we got everything ready to go. You know what I'm saying? We got everything in this bag for y'all. Now we are gonna kick back to these seasonings right quick. Matter of fact. So uh. Growing up, man, what kind of spreads did you make or what kind of things you put together with Top Ramen before you even knew about spreads? You know everybody got their little... Man, I'm a Top Ramen kind of sewer. Kind of sewer, right? You know me. I got so tired of eating plain. ramen. Yeah, yeah ramen plain. the real way. I was like, man, how we gonna spice it up? First, you spice it up with a little bit of pepper or something. Yeah. Then you add a little bit of hot sauce and it starts getting better. Some people add garlic salt and shit. You remember the old school when you just put some hot dogs in that shit? Oh yeah, that's... Mama used to put some hot dogs in that shit, boy, with the... Nah, I grew up on like hot dogs and rice and hot dogs and eggs and shit, but yeah. Yeah. Nah, I would get the real, like we did, the Hillshire, the kielbasa or whatever. Okay, okay. Chop yeah. that shit up, fry it up. Real. That's how I made them fry the uh, them ramen, but... Yeah, you yeah. can add whatever you want. Hamburger, beef, like... Yeah, yeah, I feel it though, I feel it though. Man, I used to just get the little top. Yeah, I see. My bad. Put a little baby chip in there, you feel me? I used to do something simple before I oh, even God. knew about a spread. My fault, before we, before we uh, put the hot water in this right now, we gotta get these. Yeah, right them cracklings up in there, man, I forgot. Because you can't really, you can't really have it without this. I mean, I tried, you know what I'm saying? But if you don't like pork, you know that, or you, you yeah. know, we understand. But I tried to make it without this. I just don't feel like I, I, I get that same. And it's all about the texture and the flavor. Yeah, man. I don't feel like I get the same texture. All these chips got their own job, man. They bring their own flavor to this. And if you know, you know. That's you know a fact. Saying? I ain't got to explain it. That's a fact. You got every chip. to show the world the real way how to make a spread, man. From niggas that know how Real to talk. Make a spread. So you see this, you know what I'm saying? Everything in the back. You can add your see. vegetables and all that shit, but we got different ways. Everybody got a different way, man. Shit, you can take it wherever you want to from right here, man. If you want to put some extra meat in here, if yeah, you want the water at the end. Yeah, right. No, I like I like mixing yeah, it first yeah, and then right. put the water. Yeah. Cause some people put the water no, and it ain't mixed. Mix. Yeah. yeah, and they trying to use the water to mix. They be all over the place, man. But that's how you know they don't got experience. You know what I'm saying? They be talking, but they don't Yeah, that's it. fact. Cause I be seeing a lot of people on the internet, like, I've never been to prison a day in their life trying to make a spread and shit. Yeah, that's not. See, I'm I done saying been, something else and shit, man. I done been on four yards, man. Just that big headed spreadage, man. You've seen it here. 
Yeah, I done been on four yards. Man, I done been on three yards, two yards, man. When it comes to this shit, man, I can really do this shit, man. Man, you know I'm saying? Wait, but to do it. Cause we really was living it. It ain't no fake bullshit. We really was out here living this shit. Grilling and chilling. Grilling and chilling, you know what I mean? That's what we do, we grilling and chilling. So, basically you done went to the CO right now, you done been like, CO, can I get, I get some hot water? Yeah. Woo wah, woo wah, you know what I'm saying? Down the way, you finna, can I get some hot water, you feel me? So, basically you know. This shit can feed a whole tribe, man. My yeah, man. This, this shit definitely can feed a whole tribe, man. You gonna have, you gonna have everybody in the pod getting a little spread burrito, you feel me? If y'all ain't stingy, you know, a lot of niggas be in there stingy though, you know? Niggas wait till there's a lot there on time. Yeah. And then make their spread to the face. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. Hey, commissary's tough, though. Hey, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, though. A lot of niggas don't be putting in. Yeah, so it's like, man, nighttime, I'm gonna go here and make this shit by myself. Y'all niggas ain't gonna get none of this shit, you feel me? Which I agree with at times. So you want, you don't wanna put too much water. You wanna make sure you get that sweet spot, you feel me? Don't, don't be over here trying to have a spread soup. Cause a lot of people, a lot of people try to make a spread soup. You know what I'm saying? That's why I hit my nigga out my breath. If I need a spread, I'm gonna call you for sure. This thing is a spread master. Yeah, you see like that's a lot why of brought this shit to this. A lot of people like that red, you know what I'm saying? That red from them hot Cheetos. That's what Ooh, that's, that's what they're looking for right there, you know what I'm saying? And you just wanna, before you even seal it up, you wanna fill it with your hands. You wanna make sure that there's enough water. You wanna make sure that everything's getting touched. You wanna make sure that all those ingredients you put in the bag is getting mixed. Yeah, you feel some me? people like it extra high, some people like it extra cheesy. Yeah. Some people like you extra meat and shit. Yeah, for real. Just making something out of nothing, man. But this is just a this is a classic. Now we can take it all different ways. We can make a spread pizza. I can make Ooh. Come on, bro. I can yeah, make you could. I can make a wet burrito. I can make all kinds of different things, bro. You know what I'm saying? But guys, don't let man. You this, that cheese already? You not shit, not shit. This is this is the classic, though. This is this is what we call a classic. Ooh, that shit smell like Chinese uh, food. Yeah, so right there. That's where I want my water at. And so I will let this cook right now. You feel me? So I just want to let me make sure, you know. Yeah, man, flip it and dip it. Make sure everything's right. nice and flip and dip. That's why you want to double bag it, too. Don't let nobody tell you single bag, you need a double bag. You me? got all the room to move around and shit. Facts, man. You know what I'm saying? So we would just let this cook up. You know, we would tie this up like this is what we would do. Okay, hey, so when you don't want to get all the water in it, you put the water under the bag and put the food on top of the water and let it sit and it cooks it still, right? You have to put water in it. I don't know. Yeah, no, it. you know how you got two bags. You mm -hmm. put the water in the Inside underneath. the other bag? Yeah. Well, the water got to touch the noodles off for it to cook. No, I'm talking about when you want to boil like some sausages or something. Oh, okay, so so you're saying something like that. So what we would do is we would get a bowl or a dish like this, yeah. and then we'll put the first bag in there, like you said, because this don't make hot. This make hot water, but just say if it's a regular dish, and then you would boil, you put the boil hot water in there, uh, and then you would close the, the top, yeah. and then you would put the thing on there, and then you would the steam second bag, it. yeah, and then you would steam it. Yeah. You feel me? And that's how you would cook your meat. Now, some people, when you be up in a pen, some people we get stingers and you take them apart. You know what I'm saying? Now, I took mine apart a couple times, but I always sent it up the way to uh, the white boys. Or it's a stinger for those who don't know. A stinger is kind of yeah. like this, y'all. A stinger is kind of like, but it's gonna be small. Of course, you ain't gonna get nothing like this to bust nobody in the head with it in prison. Yeah. But it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little, little contraption. It's plastic. Most of my viewers probably know, but if they don't, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A little hot pot. Yeah, a little hot pot. And what you can do to the bottom of it, it's gonna come with a bottom like this. So you can take it apart and make it to where it gets hotter. Bro, they be innovative as fuck in there, bro. Yeah, because you ain't got nothing really to do. Nah, bro, I seen them put the, uh, put the hot, put the wires yeah. to their desk and made a whole stove. And they just grinded the pan off, bro, and they're sitting there flat top. Yeah, you can- Making burritos, making hamburgers and shit. Because once you get the, that's the same thing. Like, once you get these stinger wires out and you put a negative and positive right there, whatever, it makes, it makes heat, you feel me? And then it's over. You got yourself a, a whole little. We can turn the whole thing as long as it's metal. Turn yeah, the whole it's thing. He's living in there. Like I had a Sally before, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I walked inside the cell. I was glad you feel me, because he had money. Because I didn't want to be in there with no broke motherfucker. You feel me? That's right. For real though. Bagging off you all day and shit. Bagging off you, trying to get some of your spread. Get some more credit then. Yeah, bro. I went in there before the bro. I smelled. I'm coming down the, the, the hall. I'm just going in there. You feel me? I'm coming to the pen. Uh, it's like my second, third time. Uh, dude, uh, I walk in the cell, I smell just sausages, meat, all kind of shit, onions. <laughs> bro, I walk up in there, bro, he got the whole thing, like you said, nigga just like in there. Like they said, the mafia was in jail, they was really in there, like, 
eating spaghetti and all that shit still. Like, I imagine it smelled like that, bro. Yeah, he was like, I'm gonna make you one. Shit, I was like, bro, OG, I got some food too. Throw me some meat on there. You feel me? Let's make a fatter one. You feel me? Contributing, see? Contributing, because you can't be up in there on everybody that roast. I hate that shit. Everybody eats. Facts. Everybody do eat, man. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, I hope y'all checked out our episode of uh, Table Talk, too, by the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get a bar of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was a good show, me and my nigga bees, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, we be getting back on track, you know what I'm saying? Maneuvering through that manure. Yeah, man. Adapting to the it. changes at hand, man, and just keep pushing. That. That's a fact, man. That's you gotta keep, really do, man. You gotta keep pushing. Now, you know, you wanna do a little cleanup, get the excess stuff out the way. You know all the time, we don't wanna, you don't wanna be leaving all this crap. Make sure you uh, sell your sale and everything good. You know what I'm saying? Tortillas ready, man. Yeah, you get these little tortillas ready now. But you know, you're gonna make burritos, basically. So, boom, bada bing, bada boom. You can boom. heat it out the bowl and you can throw it in the burrito, man. I think it tastes better than the burrito, like you said. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes a lot better than the burrito. And like you said, a lot of people will add mayonnaise to this finished product, not mm -hmm. in there, you know what I'm saying? To the finished product, though. You know, I remember shots out to Reg, man. Reg made one of these when he got off the pen, man, one time, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, hey, shout out Reg, man. You know I mean? But, uh. Um, oh, geez, passing that game down, man. That's a fact, man. It's a real bust down, too, man. Hey, you know something? This right here, I feel it. This one right here is heme, too, it's by the way. It's heme. That's how it's supposed to be, bruh. It, it just, smells hella good, like a Chinese, Chinese place. Yeah, this shit Chinese is food place. I'm gonna let this shit sit for like another three minutes and we ready to rock and roll. That water's so hot. <laughs> yeah, man, free all my niggas, man. Free all my niggas that's locked up, man, doing this, man. And you doing it because you gotta do it, man. We we trying to put a little... We trying to spread it. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, spread, spread a little nice, awareness man. on the spread, but you know, there's a lot of people in there gotta eat this, you know what I'm saying? But it's still smacked, though, don't get me wrong. It's crazy how they survive better in there, man, than in the streets, and it's crazy, though. Facts. They just got us built like that. You seen Honeycomb Brazy in there? You seen his videos he put in there? He going up, that's what I'm Lift saying. Lifting weights. It looks fun to me. <laughs> he said it looks fun. That shit looks fun to him. Like, he got money. When you got money, you don't got to give a fuck about nothing. So mm -hmm. he probably went in there with millions, bro. He don't give a fuck. Bro, I seen him on there, bro. He's probably still eating steaks and shrimp. Eating ice cream. Yeah. Now he's sitting there eating ice cream, pizzas. Shout out Brazy, man. Shout out Brazy, man. Cause he was going up. He's been going up in there, man. He got to do 15? He gotta do 15 for real? He only served like three years, so he still gotta do a 12. I remember that one, Batman Kevo. Remember Batman Kevo? Yeah. My bad. About to cut me off. No, no, that's it. Batman Kevo said he got locked up for that little seven months or whatever. Yeah. Or however long. He said he made 170000 Yeah, but he already had a name. So. Yeah, but he was charging people for game in there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sell each other game, like. Especially with that sports real estate day, game. Man. Yeah, they got real estate game in there, all that shit. So he was just. Gang, gang, gang. It's just an open market, man. Yeah, for real. And he came back out with the bag. So, man, if you got all that knowledge, man, you can put that shit to use, man. That's a fact, though. You man. ain't sitting there dumb for nothing, man. Something, you got something, man. You gotta find that shit. A lot of people be sitting there dumb for nothing, like you said. Man, like, that's plain sad. stupid, man. What you think about, uh, what you think about all these motherfuckers wasting their opportunities, man, wasting their time, waiting on the next man to give them something, man. You think about that weirdo shit. So I, I think like, the time is now because, bro, I spent a lot of time doing that, and I spent like at least five years. Yeah, dwelling on the shit, and I was like, damn, I could have went been blown up already. Been blown up. Got into a depression. Got into a slump. Like, damn, I don't want to do nothing no more. Like my life's over and shit. Like, but nah, man. There's a lot of things to tell, man. You just gotta keep pushing. Like I said, I kept pushing. Yeah. Got out that slump. Stop taking all those meds that was giving me that was fucking me up, man. Yeah. This shit got back to clear, man. I just got back on track. God keeps lighting the path, man, and I just keep pushing. That's it. You got the tortillas. We finna warm these right quick. You know, you ask them, you use the microwave in the pen. Same old shit. <laughs> so, yo, let me use the microwave, man. That shit smells so good. You throw them motherfuckers in there for us, man. It's like, man, this is something. This is something we really do. This, you gotta, uh, you gotta make sure they melt, man. So we get these with a little fire. We get these with a little fire. Let's get a couple now. Let's get a plate. Don't forget to like and subscribe too, man. I see a lot of watchers on there that ain't subscribed, man. For real. Yeah. Get with the program, man. Get with the program, like and subscribe, man. 
Please like and subscribe, man. We bring y'all the best content. We trying to bring y'all the best content we can, man. Like and subscribe. Don't forget it, man. Let's get it. Anyways, man, so so give him another, give him some more game, man. Give him some more game. You just gotta keep on the right path, man. Real All shit. this extra shit, like, it's called vices. Shit that's holding you back, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it could be, like, side hustles, gambling, shit like that. Smoking cigarettes, it could be anything, eating, like. You just gotta treat yourself right, because it's the set. It's yourself at the end of the day that gotta take care of you, man. No one's gonna do that shit for you. That's a fact. So you man. gotta treat yourself right, man. And you let them see it, man. You let them and you let them know it, man, because a lot of motherfuckers is on a bad path because they ain't getting no game. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, I didn't even wanna do none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, nah, there's more to it. This more is the it. calling, bro. Like, I know I've been wanting to do this shit. Yeah. It's just I've been in the slum and depression, didn't have no belief in myself, didn't have no confidence. Yeah. So now as y'all can see, we didn't cheese them up. That's how you do it. Make sure you get that cheese in there, right? Look at that shit smells so good. And you just hit them. You hit them hard. Boom. You hit them with this beautiful, with this beautiful spray. Make sure you feel me? Just a little bit more on this one. Grilling and chilling, man. Just a little bit more. Making yeah. something out of nothing. Ooh, that shit smell good, boy. I ain't even finna sit up here and lie. I it's like some fusion shit right here. I ain't finna sit up here and lie. This shit smells so good, man. So now we got the cheese, dang thing. Yeah, we just, man, roll that bitch up. We just put a quick little, little wrap on it, a little roll with the cheese lace tortilla. You feel me? And once again, this for my nigga Beezy, man. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Roll this one up, bada bing, bada boom. It ain't gotta be professional. What it do gotta be is good though. There you know it is I mean? there. <laughs> Real tough. We just so, made them CBD spread it, big headed spread it, man. We sure did, man. Hey. This is what the motherfuckers feels like a quarter pound. Quarter shit. pound. Yeah, feed man. the whole pie, you feel me? Man, cheers, man. Cheers, man. Let's go. Stay up. Mm-hmm. I already know that. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. Thank you for back. rocking with us on another one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, man. Run that shit up. I am busy macking the handicap assassin. And this your boy Gotti, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe, like I said, man. Let's yeah. I'm trying to help out, man. But that's. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got that spread off. You have a good one, man.